Shabbat Shalom, Yashala, Shabbat Shalom. That will happen, Yashala, coming out another episode of bringing out those holy precepts. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory to Abinawa Yahweh, Bashem, Masiach, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Rekar, Kadash, True Father, Deliver and Savior's name in ancient Paleo Hebrew, Lashawan, Kadash, the original tongue. Hope everybody's doing most high bless. Dawada Banya Shal again, bringing out those holy precepts. Today we're going to be going into the book of Sephaniah. Sephaniah, the third chapter. And I'm going to title this sit, down, this sit Down Destruction to the Polluted Oppressing City. Destruction to the Polluted Oppressing City. Okay. Again, coming out of the book of Sephaniah, let's get into it. Sephaniah 3 and 1, and it reads, Woe to her that is filthy and polluted to the oppressing city. Woe to her that is filthy and polluted to the oppressing city. When you understand, when, when you see the word woe, means destruction, okay, anguish, you know, um, that's when you see the word alas, alas in, in the book of Revelation. It means woe, destruction, okay? Destruction to her that is filthy and polluted to the oppressing city. Sephaniah 3 and verse 2. She obeyeth not the voice. She receiveth not correction. She trusteth not in Yahweh. She drew not near to her power. Okay? She obeyed not the voice. She received not correction. She trusted not in Yahweh. She drew not near to her power. Okay? Verse 3. Sephaniah 3 and 3. Her prince within her are roaring lions. Her judges are evening wolves. They gnaw not to the bone. Till the morrow. Okay? Given a description, the judges, this whole system that's set here up here, the, the so called justice system, <laughs> you know, the judges are evening wolves. Why? Because there's always judgment and persecution and affliction to the children of Israel. Just take the population of all these jails throughout this demonic land, the children of Israel. Sephaniah 3 and 4. Her prophets are light and treacherous persons. Her priests have polluted the sanctuary. They have done violence to the law. Okay? Beautiful priests. Her prophets are light and treacherous persons. T.D. Snakes. Clef, give me a dollar. <laughs> Joel Osteen. All these, the all you false prophets that are out here prophesying this Bible, it's not given to you. Less if you're a heathen. Okay? It's not given to you. Her prophets are light and treacherous persons. Her priests have polluted the sanctuary. They have done violence to the law. Destruction to the polluted, oppressing city. Okay? Verse 5. Sephaniah 3 and 5. The just Yahweh is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning doeth he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. Okay? Pursuant to Daniel 4, 17, Yahweh uh, ruleth in the kingdom of men. Okay, the just Yahweh is in the midst thereof. Okay, every morning do if he bring judgment to light. As you see these storms, all this destruction, I mean, it's all pro prophesied in the Bible. The famine, of, of, <laughs> it's coming here. The pestilence, the so-called corona, even though it's set up by these demons of this wicked demonic land, but the most high, it, everything is under his control. Like the same thing that's coming here, those arrows that you read in Jeremiah 49 through 51, the arrows are modern day intercontinental ballistic missiles that these, these heathens are threatening here to this land. Babylon the Great, the United Snakes of America, spiritual Edom and spiritual Sodom. Sephaniah 3 and 6, I have cut off the nations. 
Their towers are desolate. I made their streets waste that none passes by. Their cities are destroyed so that there is no man, that there is none inhabitant. Okay, that's what's coming here. Judgment. We're the, the only, we're the only ones blowing this trumpet, giving the warning to this wicked demonic nation, mostly for our people, the children of Israel, Black, Hispanic, Native, of Indian, and Negro, Negro descent. It's only for us. But we're still blowing the trumpet to the heathens to let them know judgment is here from the Heavenly Father. Thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Holy Bible. Zephaniah 3 and 7. I say, surely thou wilt fear me, thou wilt receive instruction. So their dwelling should not be cut off. Howsoever I punished them. But they rose early and corrupted all their doings. The father saying he, he thought that you would read the, uh, this nation would receive his instruction, his guidance, his direction. After all, they put it on all everything out here. Go to the courts, look at the money and God we trust. <laughs> no, you don't. So their dwelling should not be cut off. Howsoever I punished them, but they rose early and corrupted, corrupted all their doings. Okay. Zephaniah 3 and 8. Therefore wait ye upon me, saith Yahweh, unto the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with fire of my jealousy. I have to stop right here and bring out some precepts because this is very powerful. Okay. <laughs> my determination is to gather the nations. Okay. Let's, let's, let's get it. Joel 3 and verse 2. And it reads, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered amongst the nation and parted my land. A lot of points here. Okay, his nation, his heritage, Israel. Okay, who was scattered amongst the nations here? Who was on these slave ships? Come on. Do your research. 1492, the Syrian captivity, so-called Northern Kingdom. 1619, the Southern Kingdom. Okay, the Negroes that were brought here, our Negro brothers. Stop it. It's history. Okay, and look at the last statement. And parted my land. Now, mind you, the Bible was written... Uh, uh, over 2,000 years ago. But the father knew these devils were part of his land. Isn't, isn't modern day Israel not parted? <laughs> but you people say this Bible is, 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 is fake and fantasy. Let's get, a, let's get a precept. Zechariah 14 and verse 2. For I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle. And the city shall be taken and the houses rifled and the women ravished. And half the city shall go forth into captivity. And the residue of the people shall not be cut off from the city. Okay? This is what's coming. Okay? Destruction to the polluted, oppressing city. Okay? Point blank period. Let's go back to Zephaniah, Sep third chapter. Zephaniah 3 and 9, for then will I turn to a people a pure language that they may call upon the name of Yahweh to serve him with one consent. Okay. Zephaniah 3 and 10, from beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, my supplants, even the daughters of my dispersed shall bring my offering. Okay. And I'm just bringing out a precept. For the, the so-called, because it mentions Ethiopia here, okay, so-called African nation, Kush, you know, Mizraim. I mean, it, do your history, okay? But let's bring this out about the Ethiopia, 
talking about judgment. Everything is judgment. That's what's coming to this land. Well, let's get it. Sephaniah 2 and 12, and it reads, Ye Ethiopians, also ye shall be slain by my sword. Okay? It was in the lesson, Ethiopians, but I have to give them their judgment. Read it again, Sephaniah 2 and 12. Ye Ethiopians also, ye should be slain by my sword. Okay, back to Sephaniah. Uh, 3 and verse 11. In that day shall thou be, Shalakia, in that day thou not be ashamed for all thy doings, wherein thou hast transgressed against me. For then I will take away out of the midst of thee them that rejoice in thy pride, and thou shalt no more be haughty because of my holy mountain. And we know the holy land, Israel. Those wax pale demons are not the true people of the Most High. Okay? Staying on topic. Zephaniah 3 and 12. I will also leave in the midst of thee an afflicted and poor people. And they shall trust in the name of Yahweh. Okay. Next precept tells you who are, who are the afflicted poor people. Verse 13. The remnant of Israel shall not do iniquity, nor speak lies. Neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth. For they shall feed and lie down, and none shall make them afraid. Beautiful precept. Sephaniah 3 and 14. Sing, O daughter of Zion, shout, O Israel, be glad and rejoice with all the heart. O daughters of Jerusalem. They, the father is calling the, 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 the princes of Israel. You so you know you women, but all of you turn against the most high to, to live in this demonic world with the madness of the world. Okay, if you don't repent, the save the Lord, judgment's coming. Just because judgment doesn't um uh, doesn't come speedily, it doesn't void it. Judgment is coming, the save the Lord, the save the Bible. Zephaniah 3 and 15. Yahweh has taken away thy judgment. He has cast out thy enemy, the king of Israel. Even Yahweh is in the midst of thee. Thou shalt not see evil any more. Okay? Verse 16, Sephaniah 3 and 16. In that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear thou not, and to Zion, let not thy hands be slacked. Slack. Verse 17, Yahweh thy power is in the midst of thee, is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. Sephaniah 3 and 18, I will gather them that are sorrowful, sorrowful for the solemn assembly who are of thee to whom the reproach of it was burdened. Verse 19, behold, at that time I will do all that afflict thee, and I will save her that halted, and gather her that have driven out. I will get them, I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. Verse 20, at that time will I bring you again, even in the time that I gather you, but I will make you a name and a praise among all the people of the earth. Where I turn, when I turn back your captivity before your eyes, saith Yahweh. Okay, he's talking about the children of Israel. Okay, at that time I will bring you again, even in the time that I gather you, for I will make you a name and a praise amongst all. All people of the earth, pursuant to uh, Deuteronomy 7, verse 6, we are a special people, holy people, a peculiar nation, okay? A nation of kings and priests, pursuant to Revelation 1 and 6. I mean, it's all throughout the Bible. But this world is so in, in, in slumber, 
but the truth has to come out. The black, Hispanic, native of Indian and Negro descent are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites. Okay? Don't come against us. Come against the Father if you disagree with him. Okay? For I will make you a name and praise amongst the people of the earth when I turn back your captivity before your eyes, saith Yahweh. I just want to bring out a couple of more precepts. Okay? Let's first go into the book of Nahu. And it reads, Nahu 3 and verse 1 reads, Woe to the bloody city, for it is all full of lies and robbery. The prey departeth not. Okay? Destruction to the bloody city. And the city is a, is a stuff. The, the most high don't deal with cities. If you know, if you know anything about them all, he says nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. That's it's just a, a snare for all you heathens and then all you that think that you know this Bible. Okay, woe to the bloody country. It is full of lies and robbery. The prey departeth not. Let's get another precept. Book of Micah. Micah chapter 2, verse 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity. Destruction to them that devise iniquity. And work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it. Because it is in the power of their hand. Okay? Work all iniquity upon their beds. This nation, how many decades this so-called NWO this new world order. They've been planning this through all our seven captivities. Our last one here in Babylon, the daughter of Babylon, the United Snakes of America. How long? And we're still here. Okay? Because our father has mercy on his people. And we're going to be delivered, does say if the Lord, does say if the Holy Bible. Okay? And I just proved it. And um, Joel and Zechariah, he's coming back for his heritage and his people. So you can't stop the truth and you cannot stop the, the wrath coming to, to this land from the, from the most high. Let's get another verse. Verse Micah 2 and 2. And they covered fields and take them by violence. That's the American dream. And they covered fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. You see that? Going back to Joel, the Most High is coming to claim his heritage, Israel. Put it in context. Okay, let's get another precept. Let's go into the book of uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 49. Let's talk about these, you know, to prove all things. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 49, and it reads, Yahweh shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flyeth. That's a dead giveaway. What's the symbolization here in Babylon the Great, as it was in Rome and Greek and all the kept the eagle? Okay, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Okay, because our tongue was Hebrew. Okay, until they converted into and gave us this so called Espanol. Okay, and and and, and Creo and and whoever um, conquered whatever um, the mountains out here, which are the you know the land. Okay, that's the dialect that they you know they showed us. But we Hebrew speak Hebrew. Okay, point blank period. Let's get another verse. And we know this is a this is definitely pointing out this is America. Uh Deuteronomy 28 and 50. A nation of fair continents, which shall not regard the persons of old nor favor to the young. As you see, that's the American dream that you demonic people of this land back. Okay, your, your uh, star spangled banner, you know. <laughs> Stop this madness. But let's keep it in context. Let's get another precept. Go to the book of Habakkuk. Habakkuk 2 and verse 12. Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood and establish a city by iniquity. Destruction to him that buildeth a town with blood and establish 
a country by iniquity. But hundreds of millions of Native Americans that were killed here on this land, and now they're told that they're the aliens, okay? The hundreds of millions that were killed during the transatlantic slave trade. Woe to him that built up a town with blood and established a city by iniquity. It is what it is. I'm just a messenger bringing out the true gospel. Okay. This is Jeremiah 50 and verse 13. And it reads, because of the wrath of Yahweh, it shall not be inhabited. But it shall holy, it shall be wholly desolate. Everyone that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished and hiss at all, all her plagues. Okay? Judgment's coming. We're blowing the trumpets and you're only going to get it from the true biblical Israelites. Matter of fact, the 144,000 kings and priests that are ordained and sanctified to preach this gospel. It's not given to everybody. But you world, all of you in the world think y'all can open up this Bible. It's not given to you. That's why you have no understanding of it. Speak the truth in Christ. I lie not. Jeremiah 50 and 14. Put yourself in array against Babylon round about. All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her. Spare no arrows, for she has sinned against Yahweh. Okay? You know the modern-day arrows I've covered in many. The modern-day arrows now are intercontinental ballistic missiles that Russia, North Korea, all of them are testing right now. Okay? Come on, folks. It's right in front of your eyes. And we, we don't care if you see it or not. We worried about we want to get redeemed from this demonic land, the United Snakes of America. We're not from her. Okay? We're Hebrew Israelites. Okay, Jerusalem, Israel is our, is, is our home. That's why we're going to be redeemed here. And this land is going to go up in fire, thus saith the Lord. Put yourself in array against Babylon round about, and ye that bend the bow, shoot at her. Spare no arrows, for she hath sinned against Yahweh. Let's get another verse. Shout against her round about. She has given her hand. Her foundation are fallen. Her walls are thrown down. For it is the vengeance of Yahweh. Take a vengeance upon her. That she has done. As she has done. Do unto her. That's when you understand. He that leadeth into captivity. Shall go into captivity. It's judgment is all throughout the Bible. It's all throughout the Bible. Uh. Let's get a few more precepts. Let's go to the book of Ezekiel. Ezekiel 24th chapter. I'm going to read from the ninth verse. And it reads, Therefore it does say, If Yahweh thy power, woe to the bloody city. I will, will even make the pile for fire great. Let me read that again. Ezekiel 24 and verse 9. Therefore, it does say, if Yahweh thy power, woe to the bloody city. I will, I will even make the pile for great fire. <laughs> Let's get another verse. Ezekiel 24 and verse 10. And it reads, heap on wood, kindle the fire, consume the flesh, and spice it well, and let the bones be burned. That's what's coming here. <laughs> Fire is what's coming here. Does say if the Lord does say if the Holy Bible. I mean, precept upon precept. I'm just reading the Bible. Let's go to the book of Micah. Micah 5 and 15. And it reads, And I will execute vengeance in anger and fury upon the heathen. Such as they have not heard. Okay. Micah 5 and verse 15. And I will execute vengeance in anger. In anger and fury upon the heathen. Such as they have not heard. Just bringing out the precepts. Like I said. Bringing out those precepts. Let's go into the book of Nahu. 
Uh, let's talk about the Most High. Now, who 1 and verse 2, and it reads, The Most High is jealous, and Yahweh revengeth. Yahweh re re revengeth, and is furious. Yahweh will take vengeance on his adversaries, and he reserveth wrath for his enemies. Beautiful precept. Now who one in verse two, the most high is jealous and Yahweh revengeth. Yahweh revengeth and is furious. Yahweh will take vengeance on his adversaries and he reserveth wrath for his enemies. Like I say, I'm just reading the Bible. <laughs> just bringing out those precepts. Bringing out those precepts. But you people never read them. Now who 1 in verse 3. Yahweh is slow to anger. And in great and great in power. And will not at all acquit the wicked. Judgment is coming. Yahweh has his way in the whirlwind. And in the storm. And in the clouds. Are the dust of his feet. Okay. Hey. I'm just reading the Bible. A few more precepts. I want to wind this lesson down. I've covered that. Let's go to 2 Thessalonians. Chapter 1 and verse 8. And it reads. In flaming fire. Taking vengeance. On them that know not. The most high. And that obey not. The gospel of our Lord. Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Beautiful precept, 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 8. In flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not the Most High, and that obey not the gospel of our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Let's get another verse. Second Thessalonians 1 and 9. Who shall be punished with everlasting destruction, from the presence of Yahweh Shai, from, from the glory of his power. Okay? That what I'm bringing out, just bringing out those holy precepts. Let me get, I want to go into the Hebrews and wind down this lesson. Try not to make them too long because I know the tension span for even our own people. Hebrews 10 and verse 31, and it reads It is a fearful thing. To fall into the hands of the living power. Okay? It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Abanawe Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash. Okay? Destruction to the polluting, oppressing city. I hope this is out of Fan Yasharal. I'm just bringing out the precepts on this holy Shabbat. Everybody stay most high blessed. We know we have to endure to the end. We have the Father. He protected us through all these seven captivities and even the exodus out of here. Babylon the Great, the United Snakes of America, you know. So far, the NWO plan has been planned for so long and it's failed. We're still here. And with that, I say Shabbat Shalom. Peace. <laughs>